weather is not my responsibility, mistress. If the crops do not grow because there is no rain, that is not my responsibility. Widows and orphans are also not my responsibility. Collecting the rent for this cottage is my responsibility, mistress. And if I do not receive it by Friday, then you are out! Out! Is that clear? Don't cry, Mother. I'm not crying, Jack. I'm thinking. I must think. There must be some way to find the rent. Something we could do. Something we could sell. <sighs> well, we've got half a loaf of bread, nothing in the garden, and hardly any furniture. We haven't even got spare boots or a cloak to sell. I'm afraid the cow will have to go. What? Petal. We'll have to sell Petal. We can't do that. We have to, Jack. We've nothing else. But what about the milk? We won't have any milk to drink. Then we'll have to drink water, But won't why we? can't we... Jack, please stop arguing. I don't want to sell Petal any more than you do. But it's either that or being turned out of the cottage. And it's winter. Yes. I'm sorry. I'll take her to market in the morning and see how much I can get for her. No! No! I'll take her! Let me take her, and uh, I'll get a really good price. I'll get so much that we'll have extra money after we've paid the rent to buy food. And I'll bargain, and I'll haggle, and I'll beat their prices down. Whoa! Oof! Oh, beat their prices up! Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, I'll come back with loads of money, and you'll be really proud of me. And we'll be able to buy cheese, and ham, and sausage, and... <laughs> all right, all right, you can take her. But you must make sure that you get at least uh -huh. five silver pieces for her. Don't take less. Don't you worry, Mother. I'll get much more than that. You'll be really pleased, I promise you. This way, my friends, our auctioneer is about to take the stand. We've got buyers, we've got sellers. What a day to make a deal. Gather round me, village dwellers. He's about to spin his spiel. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you our auctioneer. Will someone start the bidding on his hands from me? That's more than fair. Now, who has the other update or not? I'll give you ten if you throw in the swine. Sold to the man in the cloak of wool. We'd best keep moving. Your list is full. Very well then. Collect his due and I'll uh. move on to something new. Here's a price this oxen cart. Speak right up now. All start. Three gold coins. Who'll make it for? Do I hear any more? Sold to the merchant. These fine things put the gold in the bag my system brings. Take a look at this kid, looks like an easy pitch. Let's go to work, I'll make the sale, you make the switch. For my next bit of business, I'll address this young man's cow. Can I get a hefty bag of silver? Who'll start the bidding now? Four silver pieces! Do I hear a five among the crowd? Five! Six! Seven! That's a spirit shout out loud! I think we've gone as far as we can go. 
I think so. We best be practical. It is a cow and not a bull. Will it be used for milk or steak? You'll have to get what I can take. After all, the cow is old. Don't go expecting any gold. Game once, game twice, game three times. Sold! <laughs> Here we are, Led. And a very good price, too. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. No, no, no. You keep that bag tightly shut and close about your person, boy. It don't do to go waving silver coinage under the noses of the peasantry. Some of them might feel they was entitled to a share of it. If you get my meaning. Well, I... There is thieves lurking around every corner. Oh, there are? With clubs and knives and murderous intent. So, I suggest you runs home as quick as you can. And you'll be safe. Oh, I will. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye, lad. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 Five whole silver pieces. We can have meat for a week, and Mother will be able to buy a new coat, and I could have the holes in my boots mended properly. This is great. I'm back, Mother. Wait till you see what I got. Look. <gasps> huh? You silly boy. You silly, silly boy. They've swindled you. But I don't... It's just bits of old metal and some beans. Couldn't you be more careful, Jack? Didn't you watch what was happening? Oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? We have nothing left. Nothing. I'm sorry, Mother. Sorry? It's too late to be sorry. We're going to be thrown out of our house and either starve or freeze to death. I thought I'd done so well. I thought I'd got a really good price. Oh, they must have been laughing at me all the time. Oh, what a fool. Oh, no, Jack. I'm the fool. I should never have let you go. You're much too young and inexperienced. It's my fault. I'm the one that lost the cow. Yes, well... I know. I'll find work. Oh, don't be silly, Jack. There is no work. I'll find something. Don't you worry. Uh, I, I could be a woodcutter. Oh, Jack. I could. Anyway, I'll go out tomorrow morning, and I won't come back until I've found a job. See you soon, Mother. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Beans. <laughs> Lots of beans. Beans for dinner. And beans to sell in the market. <laughs> hey!
But what happened here? Who are those people on horses? The Dark Riders. They come from the giant. Giant? They're his servants. He sends them out when he wants something. They take everything from us. Everything. They burn our crops and our houses. Sometimes they come in the middle of the night. They take our sheep and our cattle. And anything valuable, jewelry or gold, that sort of thing. They smash everything in their pond. Mm. Oh, no. This is terrible. Who is this giant? We don't know, sir. We never seen him. He moved into the old castle, at the side of the desert. He just sends the dark riders to steal for him. But we must do something. How do you come to save us from the giant, mister? Well, no, not really. I... You could do it if anyone could, sir. Of course, it's not your responsibility, and we wouldn't want to impose upon you, but we're not very good at fighting in that. It's not in our nature. And you'd be a match for him, sir. You're pretty much of a giant yourself, if you don't mind my saying so. Right, yes. Oh, yeah. You're very tall. And strong. Right, yes. You are, yes, you are. Am I? You are. Yes, I suppose I am, really. I'll tell you what. I'll go and try and fix this giant thing for you. I'll... I'll confront him or something, and... He's going to save us! Bye! Oh! Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Dilly, and I'm coming with you. What? I said... I'm Dilly, and I'm coming with you. 
The people from that giant stole my harp, and she was the best thing I ever had, and I want her back. Oh, I see. Well, it might be dangerous. That's all right. I'm pretty brave and fearless and, uh, everything. Anyway, I'll be with you. Ah, yes. And you don't have to worry about feeding me, because I brought my own food. Oh, good. Have you done much of this sort of thing before? What sort of thing? You know, going after giants, adventures, quests, exploring, fighting. Oh, well, a little, I suppose. You know, the odd adventure, occasionally. I haven't. My mom won't let me do anything. I left her a note to say I was coming with you to get the giant. She's going to be so angry. Boy, Mavis. Mm. What do you reckon of them two? Oh, how do you mean? Do you reckon they look as if they might die in the night? I'm starving. Cox, they won't. They're as healthy as anything. Look at them. That little one make a lovely starter. You don't think they're uh, looking at all picky then? No, I don't. So you can stop torturing yourself and go and find a couple of dead rats or something. They're going after the giant. What? I just heard them. They was talking about it. Going to get him, they said. Them too? <laughs> Don't be so daft. That's what they said. They won't last five minutes in that castle. <laughs> hey, if we keep close to them, you'll get your starter and your main course. <laughs> <Yeah. Whoa. laughs> you know what? What? If we was to let him know... Who? The giant, Reg. The giant! Oh, right. If we was to let him know, warn him like... Yeah. Could be he might see his way to giving us a little reward. <laughs> Payment for information type of thing. What sort of reward? Well, I don't know. A nice dead sheep. Something like that. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, that is, Mavis. A very good idea. Let's go and give it a try. We never left overs, our kitchen never closes. Left overs, right under our noses. Left overs, if something's left, we'll be right over. Any foul smelling place is our menu. Whatever's deceased is on our menu. Ferret flambe. Or squirrel souffle. Or snake sorbet. We've had it all. If there's not enough rare rabbit, grab it. We gather what's left and we share it. For once in a while. There's food for the pile. And we dine out in style and have a bowl. We love her. Left overs, you may call us Rip Raff. Left overs, but we get the last laugh. Left overs, if something's left, we'll be right over. Some will hurry dinner, but we won't. <laughs> we just don't move until they don't. Some eat and run. But they miss the fun. We, we wait till dinner's done, done before we munch. Working for peanuts makes no sense. We'd rather eat vermin than rodents. We may have our flaws. But stand in our claws. Apply a salt pulse and you've got lunch. We love our flip elders. <laughs> Go on then, not... No! You! You! It was your idea, you not... Oh, all right. <gasps> oh, what do you want? Oh, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, we was wondering if uh, perhaps you might be at all interested in some uh, sort of information at all. <sighs> What information? Well, we uh, was in this tree this evening, as usual, and uh, we... We was thinking, sir, 
that you might like to know that there is two dangerous spies who are, at this moment, even as we speak, making their way towards this castle so as to kill the giant. Actually, they're not actually making their way here exactly now. They're asleep under that big oak tree just inside the forest. <sighs> they will be stopped. Oh! <laughs> I must say, they didn't sound all that grateful. No mention of a reward, neither. Oh! <laughs> That's more like it! <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go. I don't like it here. It's creepy. <laughs> Did you sleep well, Dilly? Yes, thanks. You? Yes. Huh? What's that? Quick! I don't believe I've ever tasted donkey before, maybe. Hang around the ranch and you may get a chance. <laughs> Let me down. Oh, oh, help. Ooh, help. Uh, We're coming. Ooh, We're coming. Uh, we'll get you down. if you hadn't have come along. Yes, I do. I'd have been the giant supper. Oh, oh, I can still feel my heart beating. Oh, what a terrible shock. It's going to take me ages to get over this. Ages. The giant supper. How do you know you'd be the giant oh. supper? It's the Dark Riders. They set up traps all over the place. And then the poor animals who fall into them get taken away to the castle. And eaten. Oh, I can't bear to think about it. Well, you're safe now. And we must get going. You're not going to leave me? Well, yes. No, 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 no. Please, please don't leave me. Oh, don't leave me. The Dark Riders will come back and get me. And I'll be eaten. Oh, please don't leave me. Please. Please don't leave me. Oh, please. Oh, please. But we're going to the giant's castle. We're going to sort him out, and then nobody will get eaten. Oh, but, but they might come back. They might come back and get me. I'll come with you. Oh, let me come but with you. But we're going to the giant's castle. I don't care. I don't want to be on my own. Please, let me come with you. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, all right. If you're sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Come on, then. We've probably got a long way to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Ambrose. What's yours? Jack. And that's Dilly. There goes your chance of donkey leftovers, then, Rich. I was tantalized. Then it was snatched away. Yeah. Nothing worse than being tantalized. Come on, Ambrose. Keep up. I can't. I'm tired. That experience this morning has left me completely exhausted. Uh, he's going to be a real nuisance. I can tell. He'll be all right. He's just had a shock. That's all. Huh, you wait. I bet I'm right. He could carry things. That's what donkeys do, isn't it? carry things. We haven't got any things. Well, if we did have, then he could, couldn't he? Hmm. What 
What does it say? Uh... It's a warning. I bet it's a warning. It says, no fishing except on Tuesdays and Fridays. How can it say that? There's no water. Well, I don't know. You can't read it, can you? Of course I can't. It's in foreign. I just thought it looked as if it said that. It's a warning. I'm sure it's a warning. It's saying that if we go any further, something horrible will happen. Wild animals will attack us, or rocks will fall on us, or something. Well, we can't go back now, and there's no other road, so we'll just have to chance it. It's probably just to tell foreigners not to drop litter, I, I guess. Come on, then. First, then. Mm. All right, I will. Adventure, isn't it? I hope I get my harp back. I really miss her. She was so clever. I didn't used to have to practice at all, because she played herself. And she used to sing, too. She was a very good singer. And she used to sing and play at the same time. I used to sing with her which is called a duet. I used to sing, I knew a man built upside down and I can prove it so. His nose ran and his feet smelled and so there you go. Hootie 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 hum dooty doody dooty dum hootie hootie hootie. Where's Dilly? Dilly! Ambrose? Uh, they went off. Uh, they went off with the donkey, uh, didn't they, Wendy? Yes, yes, they Which did. direction? <laughs> Which way did they go? Oh, well, I, I, I don't rightly remember. They, uh, they... They uh, went that way, over... No, 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 they did not tell a lie. They, they went... Oh, dear. You've really confused me, coming so sudden like that. It was that way. I definitely remember now. That way. <laughs> oh. 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 I don't know. We sort of fell through the path. It looks as... I told you. Didn't I tell you? I said that notice was a warning. Don't go on, I said, but nobody took any notice, and now look where yes, we are. Yes, all right, but we must... We're in some horrible dark cave, and I... Yes, got... I know. I'm sorry. And I've got millions and millions of bruises. We have to get out of here, Ambrose. But first we must find Dilly, and if you don't stop complaining, I'll leave you behind. No, 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 wait, wait for me. Well, come on then. I'm so I can see a light. Ugh. I should never have come. <laughs> 
Well, nobody asked you. Things lurking here, I can tell. Horrible things. Quite possibly. Lurking and watching us. Then when we're exhausted and starving and defenseless, they'll leap on Ambrose, us. Ambrose, will you be quiet? Well, I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. We came as quickly as we could. <gasps> Good grief. What are those? They're trolls. We learned about them at school. They live underground and they never, ever come out their whole lives. Not even for a minute. They're horrible, aren't they? Attention! Silence! Let the trial commence! We don't plead anything. Let us out immediately. No, you have to plead. You have to plead guilty. Don't be ridiculous. We haven't done anything. But you have. You have. You've disobeyed our notice. Court is now in session. Let's proceed. Of course, there's only one way you We've done nothing wrong. So we'll just move along. Our sign said do not cross. Do you not read? I told you. You crossed our bridge. You annoyed our bridge and made it cross. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very stupid if you ask me. You've got no right to lock us up like this. Oh, we have. We have. We have every right. We're, We're the, the king. king. Well, you can't be a very good king if you go about locking up innocent people. You are not innocent people! You're guilty! Guilty! And you will be punished! Punished. We'll make you play ring a ring a roses. With every thorn, you're sure to get the point! Ow! Our hot scotch on the wire! That hangs over a fire! We're heating up the playing field right now! You will be tickled with feathers. You will be forced to drink tea with no sugar. You will be made to ride bicycles with square wheels. You will be made to play tennis with rackets with no strings. You will be forced to eat ice cream straight from the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Mission, you know, we're going to see the giant. The, the giant. There's the proof. They're guilty. Guilty. They're friends of the giant. The accomplices. Thieves. They aid and abet the one who stole our hen. Our beautiful hen. The hen who laid golden eggs. Beautiful, solid golden eggs. To see the giant in due time. That makes each one an accomplice to the crime. You're both insane. Two heads without a brain. You must excuse the lad. He's had a long, hard climb. Oh, don't be silly. Of course we aren't thieves or friends of the giant. We're guilty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can't go any further. I'm too shocked. I'm not used to all this sort of thing, you know. And... Come on, Ambrose! I just told you, I... <gasps> Are you sure they won't come uh, after us? Don't worry. We're safe. I told you. They never come out. But are you absolutely sure? I mean Look they... there. A house. Come on. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Here's to the days of old and the stories told When being a peasant was ever so pleasant Make a toss of what we miss the most Here's to the days of old Good evening, sir, madam. Oh, an inn. Wonderful. Do you have rooms and some food, please? Of course we do, sir. Of course we do. Welcome to the Jolly Peasant. We got rooms, food and drink, all at reasonable rates. Sit yourselves down and I'll go and see what we got. Thank you. Reasonable rates? How are we gonna pay? Don't worry. I've got my pocket beans. Beans? Well, how else were you thinking of paying? Seashells? Well, this is all very cozy, I'm sure. But what about me? Where am I supposed to sleep? And what about my supper? I don't notice any mango wurzels being offered, or any turnips. Don't worry, Ambrose. I'm sure she'll find you somewhere nice, with plenty of mango wurzels. It's to the days of old, and the 
stories told When being a peasant was ever so pleasant May God touch them what we miss the most Here's to the days of old We once tended fields of corn and wheat And fruit so sweet We'd want to eat the bounty wheat when it came harvest time. I'd say you did! <laughs> but then came a force so overpowering. The land was cowering. A giant towering over everything that crossed his path. I ran and hid. <laughs> it's to the days of old and the stories told. When body was so high, it painted the blue sky. We I used to tend the farm with so much pride Wife by my side No one denied the farm relied on me to tidy up My handyman <laughs> Then came the day the dark riders rode into town We heard a thundering sound They burned our houses down and when they found no more to take I up and ran <laughs> <laughs> We made little pay, but no one took it away. Make a toast to what we miss the most. Here's to the days. To the option, the maize. When the cattle could graze in fields of gold. Here's to the days of old. <laughs> 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 Good night. <gasps> I'm tired. I'm not surprised. We've had a pretty busy day. Yeah, I guess we have. Good night. Good night, Dilly. doing out here? It's the Dark Riders. Quick, get out of the window. <gasps> ah! uh, we'll have to jump. Whoa! Wake up! Perhaps he's dead. Of course he's not dead. He's breathing. Ambrose!
everything's going around and around. Never mind, the fresh air will make you feel better. Fresh air? I'm not going outside. I've just been unconscious. If the Dark Riders come back, Ambrose, you'll be worse than unconscious. Come on, we must go. Oh, oh, Rocket. Bit of a disappointment all round, vis-a-vis -vis the sampling of a bit of donkey then, Reg. Yeah, and if they do much more of this running about, there'll be no fat left on them. They'll have wore their cells away. Yeah. Upsetting, really. Such is life, Reg. Such is life. I don't like this place very much. It's all sort of empty. That's because it's a desert. We don't ever come here. It's called the Whispering Desert. Why is it called that? Turn back. Turn back. See? Turn, turn back. What a good idea. Let's turn back. We can't. I'm not turning back. I want my harp. But they're telling us to. They're telling us to turn back. We should do what they say, or something horrible will happen. I know it will. I'm sorry, Ambrose, but I'm going on. Me too. You'll regret this, I'm telling you. You'll regret it. You wouldn't listen to me before about that notice. And what happened? Oh, we got pushed about by a lot of rude trolls. Who were none too clean, by the way. And nearly killed by their mad king. I mean, I'm not trying to be pessimistic or anything, but I really think Ambrose! That... What? Please be quiet. My hopes for a square meal is definitely reviving, Mavis. Why is that, Reg? Because now they is walking in the desert. And if they gets lost, they not last more than a couple of days because... Because? <laughs> they got, got no water! water. <laughs> Hurry up! We are hurrying. It's all right for you. We've only got short legs. I suppose you've noticed I've developed a limp. No. Well, I have. And the way I've been bashed about lately, it's not surprising. I can't see a limp. It's the back left. It's all trembly. Doesn't look all trembly to me. Well, it is. I can feel it. In which case, there's no point in going on, really, is there? With all the danger and everything. So, uh, why don't we go home? Huh? Hmm. Oh. oh, yes, you'll do very nicely. Very nicely. What for? On toast. Ooh, on toast with some salt and pepper, maybe. Nothing fancy. What? On 
on or off the bone now? That's the question. Fried or grilled? But you can't do this! I mean... Well, you can't! Can't? Can't? Look carefully, boy. You think you can come in here, steal from me, take what is not yours, rob me of my beautiful collection? But I am a giant. This is my land. This is my castle. I shall do what I like! Huh? Now... Ah... T. Why does everyone accuse me of wanting to steal things? I'm not interested in your collection. All I wanted was to... Then you should be interested, boy. You should be interested. It's a very cultural thing, and our collection is. And music. Music's cultural. It was a lover and his lass with a hey and a ho and a hey nonny no and a hey nonny no. Heart. Oh. Quiet! <sighs> Lovely, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Very, um, cultural. Ah! Ooh, and this? Ah! Do I have this on toast as would anybody else? No, I don't. And why? Because it lays these. Now, did you ever see anything so shiny? No, no, they're lovely. And, and, and I notice that you're also a poet, like many cultured people. What? Poetry, you know, fee, fi, fo, fum, and all that. It rhymes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Made that up myself. It's very good. Would you like me to recite some poetry for you? Lots of cultured people, well, all of them really, enjoy listening to poetry, you know. Do they? Oh, yes. Well, all right then. You tell me a poem. But it better be a good one, because if I don't like it, you're dead. Yes, um, right. <laughs> <clears throat> The boy stood on the burning deck, when all but he had fled. The flames arose around his toes. I don't like this, he said. The clouds of smoke, they made him choke. They made him cough and splutter. He couldn't speak. His eyes were weak. <sighs> Hooray for Roy, brave cabin boy, the savior of the ship. So brave and true, and handsome too, they cheered him quite a bit. I think you'll find he's gone to sleep, dear. Oh. Huh. Oh. I'm Veronica. Hello. I'm Jack. And this is Harriet. Hello. Hello. You've come to rescue us, have you, dear? Well, I... Oh, yes, yes. Please rescue Only us. Only I seriously don't think I can stand much more. It's not just that he's such a terribly yeah. coarse and vulgar sort of person, although of course he is. It's the noise. He's so loud. He shouts a lot, you know. It makes all my strings vibrate. And no manners. Never a please or thank you. And some very nasty habits. Very. How did you get here? I was stolen. Yes, I know. From Dilly. Dilly? You know Dilly? How is she? Is she all right? Is she missing you? She's fine. And she's missing you. She's not with you, is she? Uh, no. No, she's not with me. Not at the moment. Well, isn't this nice? News from home. How did you get here, Veronica? I was kidnapped. It was an outrage. Two outrages, in fact. I was kidnapped twice. Twice? I am an independent, free-range hen. I go where I like, when I like. I belong to nobody. Well, one day, I was scratching about near some rocks, and suddenly, I'm grabbed from below by these horrible, hairy hands. I don't mind telling you, my whole life flashed before me. It was trolls. 
She was kidnapped by trolls. And they kept me, and I had to lay thousands of golden eggs for them. Of course, I had to tell them I could do that, otherwise they would have eaten me. And then she escaped and got kidnapped again. By the giant, in fact. So you will rescue us, won't you? We really hate it here. <gasps> right. Time for bed. They wouldn't be interested. They might have. They might have. Of course they're not. They pays ours with, it must be said, very tasty leftovers for information about spies and such. But we lost the spies in the desert. That's not my fault, is it? I can't help that, can I? No, Reg, you can't. But knocking on the door to tell them it's raining hardly qualifies as intelligence information, does it? But they might not know, might they? They might be in the dungeon or something, mightn't they? Somewhere with no windows. Oh, really, Reg? I told you it was a stupid idea. Now we've lost all credibility. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. I do hope you'll be able to rescue us properly. Not so much for myself, mind, because he's happy as long as I keep laying. More for Harriet, really. She's terribly highly strung, and she's getting very jittery. Well, she's a nervous wreck, actually. Oh, dear. Poor Harriet. I'll do my best, of course. It's just that I didn't realize that he was quite so... Well, big. I can remember dancing in December, feeling the sunlight through the morning mist. Flowers bloom tall, showering in the rainfall. Everything seemed right in the world. Tell me why then I can't help but cry when I think of you and how our lives have changed. You brought mine, love, a once upon a time, love. Now hope and memories are all I have When my heart sings, you hear heart strings Longing you'll come back one day In my dreams I see I don't like miserable songs. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. And if I hear any more miserable songs, I shall cross you. <laughs> All right. You, tell me a poem. Yes, sir. <clears throat> come on, come on. <gasps> a poem about me. Oh, right. Oh, uh, um, the giant. Uh, there once was a giant, big. And, and bold, and strong, and handsome, and not very old. Cultured, poetic, he loved to eat jelly. His knees were knobbly, his feet were smelly. What? I, I, I... Now, you die! Help! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, 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 uh. 
Fantastic. How did you get here? What? Miles. It's done my limp no good either. The gates were open and we just walked in. Can we go now? This beam leads onto the staircase, and if we go down, we come out in the courtyard. Come on. <gasps> oh. I knew you were a thief! And brought your gang with you!
looks like that setting may have done it. Yeah. All good things must come to an end. Yeah. It's an ill wind that blows nobody no good. Yeah. But every cloud has a silver... Come on, Reg. Let's go home. I'm home at last. The worst is past. The giant's in the ground. My mother soon will sing this too when she sees who I found. Hoody 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 hum, doody 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 dum. Hoody 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 hum, doody doody dum. Dilly and her singing harp are reunited friends. A happy village, and you all know how the story ends. Hoody 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 hum, doody 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 dum. Hoody 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 hum, doody doody dum. Ladies and gentlemen, three cheers for Jack, Dilly, and Ambrose, who have delivered us from the giant! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! I'd just like to say thank you very much for the medal. And Veronica and I would like to say goodbye to you all because she's coming home with me. Goodbye! Oh! Well, I suppose that's it then. Goodbye now, and thanks for all your help. That's all right. It's all right. I hope you'll be all right, Ambrose. I hope it wasn't all, well, too much of a shock for you or anything. Shock? Of course not. No, I mean, well, when it got really dangerous, I was mainly worried about you and Dilly. Mainly. Thank you. I must thank you so, so, so much for rescuing me. You saved my life, and I'll always, always be grateful. Won't I, Dilly? I expect so. Well, I must say, it was a pleasure to meet you all. Not the ideal circumstances for social what-have-yous, of course, but very pleasant to have known you all the same. Thank you. Bye-bye, then. Give my regards to your mom, Jack. And mine. Thanks. I will. Bye. 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 Now, are you quite sure you want to come back with me, Veronica? Of course, dear. It makes no difference to me where I live, so I'll come with you and lay you some golden eggs. It's the least I can do. As long as you're sure your mother won't mind. Mind? Well, she's not invited me, has she? Fee, fi, vo, vom. <gasps> I see you. Thief! Ah! Oh! 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 Oof! Go and introduce you to my mother.
shiny, shiny, shiny. Experience the wonder online at www.sonywonder.com.